la di fucking da. It's time for an ice bath. Oh. So it's Sunday, uh, I think it's around 10. Did some driving this morning and then uh, went to the health club, a little elliptical, little sauna. Get this out of the way. Gonna eat some pork chops and uh, salad and uh, get a massage today. That's the plan. Thought I was gonna do this on Friday. Again, I got too busy, too hungry. I think next week it'll be Friday. But Sunday's a nice day because I don't do anything really for the second half of Sunday. This fucking ice bath is dedicated to Nampoon, CK. So I've been thinking about my friend Nampoon a lot lately. I'm planning to return to Thailand in November or so. And I hope I'll see her there. But I've been thinking about her and the two years that we were spending time together she wouldn't say we're friends. We can't be friends because we boom boom. <laughs> she goes by the strict definition of friends. Uh, but um, so Nampoon, I, when I do these ice baths, I dedicate them to somebody in my life and I just speak about that person a little bit, maybe for a few minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I haven't talked to Nampoon really since I left almost a year ago. Um, so Nampoon is a very, very special uh, young woman who I was immediately attracted to um, physically and just her energy, her feminine energy. Um, the first time I met her, I'll never forget that night and uh, just the connection I felt with this woman. Was, um, breathtaking, something, something I'll never forget. And over the next two years, we took a lot of trips. We spent a lot of weekends together, went to, went to drinking and dancing and clubbing. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite times with her was we went to the Maldives and I just remember her, I think she was wearing a yellow outfit. She had these bright sunglasses on and she was riding the bikes. You ride bikes. Hey, Nampoon. Um, at the resort we were at. Go that way. To get around. And she just looks so cool, so stylish. <laughs> she has a real beautiful style, all her own, I would say. And uh, I'll show the video if I have it. So you'll be watching it right now. Um, and I also took one of the most beautiful pictures of her. Um, uh, which was on our deck with this beautiful sunset behind us. She was wearing this orange, kind of bur orange, burnt orange outfit. Anyway, that's a, that was an amazing trip. The part where we were in the Maldives was, was really great, especially when we first got there. So, um, yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I miss, I miss you, Nampoon. I really do. 
I do think about you a lot, and uh, I hope I hope I can see you um, later when I'm back in Thailand for a bit. Um, yeah, so this ice bath is dedicated to you, and uh, I hope you enjoy watching me sitting in an ice bath. Um, you know I love you, and uh, I want only the best for you. So, this is for you. Okay, the shivering has started already. This ice bath, I started with uh, 40 pounds of ice. Um, so I put a full bag in, let the water fill up, and then put the second bag in. You can see the ice on top isn't really melting. My hands are just like fucking... Oof. Let's see what the temperature says. It's got to be like, uh, yeah, it's like 47. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's it is cold just a few degrees makes a big difference it's a warm day today it's like 72 degrees out it's very quiet let's see if we can hear some birds Oh, the other thing about Nanpun is she is so much fun to dance with. And she just is a beautiful dancer. Oh my God, the way she moves. The way you move Nanpun when you dance. Oh, I just loved, I loved when we would go out to clubs. Mm. Okay, I'm shivering now. I think I told you all that that's a good thing. That this is not something to be avoided. Uh, it's something that's uh, good, f good for my body, good for my longevity. Uh, means my body's responding um, quickly to the cold. And uh, whew, whew. it's really shaking. Where are we at? We're at seven almost seven and a half minutes. So I got to get to at least 11 and then uh, call it. <sighs> Had a great um, Zoom call with my men friends this last week. We do it every two weeks. And there were six of us on the call. And uh, the overall kind of theme was, there's just times in our lives where we feel sort of melancholy, where things aren't just popping and great. And, you know, you wonder what it's all for. And uh, it's tough. And I've definitely experienced that this last week. Um, I think I was the one that threw the word melancholy into the call, but uh, it seemed to be something many of us were feeling. It's a lovely group of men. I've already shared with you about David and Brent, and I'll be talking about the other men in subsequent ice baths. Um, but it's really special that we can get together and say our deepest fears, our ugliest feelings and it's okay and we just feel that brotherhood it's, uh, you just feel really fortunate to have that although none of these motherfuckers <laughs> have decided to do an ice bath <laughs> they're just watching from afar let's see this is my 11th so for 11 weeks none of them have said I'm going to give it a try because when you see this part it looks like really fucked but I'm telling you one hour after I get out I'm gonna feel so good it's such an amazing feeling but I'm not I'm definitely not uh, experiencing the cold as my warm friend right now Whew.
wonder if I get colder because I took a sauna before. I'll have to do a little studying on that. Okay, I'm at 10 minutes. Mm. See if I can chill out here. It was such a beautiful moon this morning. We call it a strawberry moon. But as it gets lower, it's, it's full and it has a kind of orangey hue to it. They call it an orange moon or a Halloween moon or an autumn moon. But I read that it's called a strawberry moon. So beautiful. has done the work it needs to do okay that's a wrap 11 minutes i am getting out